Well, it looks like I'm just going to have to get the DVD, unfortunately. Let's see, what else do they have? Let's see if I can give myself one more movie. Ooh, okay. I'm getting myself this movie too. Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. I hope you enjoyed that little out and about that I got to film of me at Target. I figured it'd be a nice way to start the video that way, but now I am here at home filming this DVD update. So with this DVD update, there's not going to be much movies. I only bought a couple. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you the movies that I bought. Starting off with... Captain America Civil War. That's right. I have Captain America Civil War here in my very hands. As you guys have seen in my movie review, I love this film. If you guys saw the top 10 best movies of summer 2016 with Kevin Falk, you know that this is my number one film of the summer. This film is just an absolute blast, and I do love this film so much. Um, this film is personally, now in my opinion, my favorite movie from Marvel, and that's saying a lot considering I loved uh, other Marvel movies like The Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, uh, one of Marvel's underrated movies personally, uh, Captain America Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, you name it. I loved a lot of Marvel's movies. But with Captain America Civil War, the reason I love this film out of all the Marvel films and the reason I personally think this is the best in the Captain America trilogy is because of just how the whole storytelling was presented. It was very cool to see both teams, you know, both sides have different point of views regarding the whole Bucky situation and what's right, what's wrong. And the thing is that both sides... Um, they think what they're doing is right. That's the thing. No one's really a bad guy. It's just a matter of both sides viewing something so different. And, oh, holy fuck. Okay. That's right. I'm switching to Team Iron Man. Calculating energy levels. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic movie. I think the Russo brothers did a great job writing and directing this film. The action sequences are great. The action may start a little bit shaky, which is one of my very, very minor nitpicks with this film, but the action definitely does get better as the movie goes along. The characters are so well written. There's so much great dialogue, whether it be a funny moment or a very dramatic moment. The dialogue is very well written. And the movie, as it goes along, it gets more intense and it definitely does change things for what we're about to see for the universe to come. And that, that was really cool, honestly. I thought the score was great, very well directed, like I said, by the Russo brothers. The movie is just nothing but pure awesomeness, both from an action standpoint, storyline standpoint, direction-wise, and um, seeing where this movie is taking all of these characters. The airport scene is just freaking awesome. I love the entire airport scene, which is apparently 17 minutes long, so it's very cool to get that scene. And then for that movie, the dive into something even deeper when it gets into its climax. Seriously, I was blown away by Captain America Civil War. This is an achievement from Marvel, and I'm very happy to be owning this. Although I don't own it 
and the combo pack if you guys can notice because unfortunately there is no combo pack for this film so I only had to buy the DVD but nonetheless I know this movie will be great and uh, DVD quality and you know what since this is just a DVD why not go inside let me go ahead and just unbox the DVD for you guys like why not okay so over here is the front which I really like over here is the back now, do they have any disc art? And, um, unfortunately, no disc art. It's just a plain white disc. Um, uh, so, yeah, nothing special there. But that's Captain America Civil War, you guys. I'm definitely glad I own this. Even if it's just a DVD, I'm still happy that... I could just watch this movie again. Like I said, um, it's just an absolute ride. Marvel's best movie, in my opinion. It's just so incredible and definitely, definitely very happy to have this in my collection. Now for the second and final movie. And it's, I think, like I said, I only bought a couple movies, so it's not too much. And it was $5 at Target, so I figured, why not? And that movie is The Interview. Yeah, that's right. I now finally own The Interview. I've wanted to own it for a while. This movie is so, so funny. Definitely one of Seth Rogen's funniest films. Maybe, possibly, the ballsiest film that Seth Rogen and James Franco have made. And that's saying a lot because some of the movies they have made have been pretty ballsy. But honestly, with everything that has been happening in 2014 with the whole controversy and the fact that this film didn't even get to play in theaters unless it's like one of the limited theaters uh, but anyways I'm glad that we still got to see this film even if I just got to see it at home and on the big screen it was still great to see the interview and you know despite the whole controversy I'm really glad that this film got made because how Seth Rogen and James uh, Franco poked fun at Kim Jong-un was really funny uh, how Kim Jong-un was portraying this film was really great and not to mention that the film does get crazy with its climax. And not to mention that they made uh, Katy Perry's Firework a lot of fun. It's like when it comes to this film and Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted, they just somehow make that song from Katy Perry, a song that I actually really like personally, just twice as more fun to listen to. Of course, Seth Rogen and James Franco, they have great chemistry together. Uh, Lizzie Kaplan's great in this film as well. The film has a lot of R-rated humor, some gross out, and some very clever humor. The writing's actually very clever with this film. Uh, the interview's a film that I definitely can't wait to watch again. I've watched it maybe one or two more times since I've seen it in 2014, but definitely can't wait to re-watch it again. And you know, why not? Let's go inside the DVD. All right, get out of the way, rapper. I don't need you anymore. All right, so here's the front cover with Seth Rogen and James Franco. There you go, the cover, the backside. All right, is the disc art great? Um, there's a digital code that I'll use for my Voodoo collection, and um, no, no discard, unfortunately, for the interview. Um, it's like a little mirror, though. Oh, yeah, look at me. Look at this handsome devil right here. So that's all for the DVD update. It's just DVDs, not too much, but I hope you guys still really enjoyed this. So let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of Captain America Civil War? And what did you think about the interview? So, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. Also, if you guys did miss the top 10 best summer movies of Summertown 16, I will leave a link to that video at the end of this update, and I will leave it in the description down below. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Tony aka 22 Tiger Dude here. I am here with Mr. Uh, hey guys, that was a very quick introduction, uh, but thank you Tony. Um, I am of course Kevin Falk, you guys know me, I've been on many of Tony's live streams. If you guys have seen the, fall, the uh, five most anticipated fall winter movies, or you've seen the five most anticipated summer movies,